In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Christ is mediator of a new covenant, so that by means of his death, those who are called may receive the promise of an eternal inheritance. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind now our sins, that we may be prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask, I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him. My covenant is with, with you is this. You are to become father of the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham, for I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan, as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, on your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant, covenant forever. forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The, the Lord, Lord remembers, remembers his covenant, his covenant forever. forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is your God, or is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The, the Lord, Lord remembers, remembers his, his covenant, covenant forever. forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord, Lord remembers, remembers his covenant forever.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets, yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died, or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing, but it is my father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus says that before Abraham was, I am, he is clearly attributing to himself a divine status. The name I am was used by God in the Old Testament about himself. If we look at other religions, be they preternatural, philosophical systems, or even in the case of Judaism, supernatural, we see that Muhammad never even claimed to be God. He claimed to be a prophet. Buddha never claimed to be God. He claimed to show the way he had found. Confucius didn't either. And Moses, of course, did not claim to be God. Jesus is the only major religious figure who has claimed to be God. He was either insane or he was telling the truth. And if should you study the Gospels, you can clearly tell that Jesus was perfectly sane. Therefore, he was telling the truth. He told the truth with love and was hated for it and was rejected and was tortured, and was killed. In these Lenten days, we should meditate frequently and profoundly on who Jesus is, on the gravity of what we have done to him, on the love of everything he has done for us. And we have to ask ourselves, what am I doing for Jesus, and what should I do for Jesus? Amen. This holy mass is being offered for nurses. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holy. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be, be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. With him, he has given us all things. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, 
we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Just looking ahead, thinking to next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are the normal Mass schedules. The changes come Thursday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God.